back. I hope you're all well. So this is episode two of Series Wipeout, which is a series, a video series I'm going to be doing about book series <laughs> once a month for this year, because one of my biggest goals is to finish the amount of series I'm currently reading, because it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so we did episode one with some series that you voted for for me to read. Over the course of the year, I'm sometimes gonna be finishing individual book series and I'm sometimes gonna be finishing a few different series that I maybe have one book in. This time we're gonna be finishing a whole series in this vlog and that series is going to be The Green Bone Saga by Fonda Lee. Now let's just... That was fucking scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw up. Let's just talk about how this is the longest book on my TBR and like the sixth longest book on my TBR and we're reading them this week. And I have to read Jade War. The reason that we're starting with this series is I agreed to co-host a uh, read along for it. <laughs> and the live show for Jade War is tomorrow night. So um, the audiobook is 24 hours long. So <laughs> We're screwed! If you don't know, this is an adult high fantasy series where we're following kind of like mafia families where there's a substance called jade that gives people their power. It gives people their special abilities, magic, if you will. And we're following particularly one family, the Cool family, who are basically in charge of the area they're in, their clan, they've got like, you know, people who are loyal to the clan, who live in their area, and the kind of clan wars that are happening at the moment. I'm trying not to spoil anything from the first book. But I really enjoyed the first book and I'm excited to finish this series. I don't know if this would have been the first series I would have picked to pick up for this vlog had I not agreed. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll read Jade War by then. Why do my past decisions always come to bite me in the ass? But anyway, we have to finish Jade War by tomorrow. I've looked and at the speed I listened to the audiobook, I think it'll take me about eight and a half hours of solid reading to read this. So that's what we've got to try and do. Scary. <laughs> but I'm excited. I really love this series. It has its roots in Asian culture and customs, but it's obviously a fantasy world. I really love a lot of our characters and our family dynamics in this series. In fact, let's hear a little bit from past Megan when I vlogged it before of what I thought about Jade City. It's been a long time since I've read like a detailed layered fantasy like this. I haven't been reading a lot of fantasy at all the past couple months and this just feels like the perfect thing to be reading. Like, the one thing is that it is like a long book. <laughs> it's not for me Mark. I'm, I feel terribly ill all of a sudden. I don't think I've read a book this long in a hot second. I do tend to read shorter bits I feel like nowadays. So I am struggling a bit with the length of it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I keep switching between oh my god I'm really enjoying this and oh my god I'm bored. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna give this a 3.5 rounded up to 4 on Goodreads. So you think okay that's fine but I wanted to love this even more. And the biggest problem is I cannot put my finger on why I was a bit disappointed by it. I can't put my finger on why it's not getting a four or a 4.5 or a five because I was going and looking at reviews, right? And I saw my friend Mina's review and she's one of the biggest reasons that I picked this book up, that I wanted to read this book. And I was reading her review and I agree in principle with everything she's said. There's just a little something, a little, that wasn't it for me. That is my thoughts. We're gonna read these books. I am actually gonna take a bit of a breather in between them. I'm gonna read Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina, not in this vlog. I'm reading this um, for my Patreon book club and vlogging it over there in between the books as a little breather. But other than that, we're gonna be reading Jade War and Jade Legacy in this vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and go start Jade War and I'll probably talk to you once I've read like the first 100 pages, maybe. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better 
So I am just over 100 pages into Jade War. My goal is tonight to get to like page 300. Which I, don't know, I don't know how well that's gonna happen, but like, listen, we can dream. Cause if I, if I do that, then I'm over halfway and I have less than a half to read tomorrow, which I feel like we can do. So anyway, I'm yeah, 100 pages in and I'm really enjoying it. I was saying to my patrons, I feel like when I have given the first book in a series four stars, I kind of don't imagine that I'm gonna give the rest of the series anything more than that. I feel like the tone has been set. When it when I've given a, the first book in a series five stars, it could go down. <laughs> but when it's been less than that, I kind of don't see it changing that much. But I'm trying to go into this book with an open mind that it could, because I'm I'm really enjoying the start of this. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. And maybe you will convince hope. But don't worry, none of these vlogs will have any spoilers, just like none of my vlogs ever have spoilers. So I'll try really, really, really hard not to spoil anything from Jade City, but it is not easy because a lot happens in these books, but I'm going to try my best. So I'm really enjoying just the political maneuverings being back in this world where there's so much complexity. Like I haven't read an adult fantasy. Pfft. I don't know when the last time I read an adult, like a properly adult fantasy, like complex, high fantasy kind of stuff. Just being back with all of the, the family and how the dynamics have been left after the end of the last book is very interesting. Hilo as a character, I, I found a bit difficult in the first book. I don't really want to say why, <laughs> but he's just like, he's a bit of a um, different kind of character. And I didn't dislike him, but I just didn't love him. Like everyone on Twitter is like, oh my God, Hilo, like, I love him. And I like didn't feel that way. But this book, I'm really enjoying seeing him in the role that he's in within the family and like him maneuvering that and him kind of working at his best or not working at his best, like seeing where his, his, what's what I'm looking for, skills lie and where his flaws lie, I think is really interesting. Anden is one of my favorite characters within the series. He is a, like a adopted kind of brother of the family. And he's just been one of my favorite characters. And I think he went on a really interesting kind of character arc at the end of Jade City. And again, I'm really loving seeing where his story goes in this one. And I just kind of feel like in the first 100 pages of this, it's like a little bit of a step up. I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. I'm pleasantly surprised by how much I'm enjoying it right now. Morning! So last night, I did not get as far through Jade War as I wanted. I really set myself up to fail today. I think I got up to page like 190, but I am now on page 319. So I've read that much, <laughs> got that much left to read. Impossible, impossible. And I'm still really, really enjoying it. So I think sometimes middle books in series are often critiqued for being boring, <laughs> for being a bit more slow. But I actually like slow books if they're done well. So I'm really enjoying all the political maneuverings and negotiations and, and planning and plotting in this book. You already know the characters, right? You already know this family so, so well. And so you immediately can kind of jump into that kind of political maneuvering and like figuring out where the clan goes from here. And I just think, I don't, I don't know, I'm not minding that it's slow and it's obviously building us up in, in ways that I can't figure out because this, you know, adult fantasy as clever as this, or, you know, I think of N.K. Jemisin or Robin Hobb, like, you know, all the adult fantasy that requires a bit of a brain, I just, I, I just sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm like, whatever you're doing, just do it, okay? <laughs> I can't remember what tangent that was going on, but regardless, what I'm saying is I don't mind that it's a bit slower. I actually really enjoy that. I'm really enjoying the aspect of this book. But whilst it is slow, things keep happening where something suddenly comes out of nowhere and it fucking feels like a punch to the gut because you're like, oh my God. Like you're kind of lured into a full sense of security with it. And then it just goes off in a completely different direction. And I'm just, I don't know you guys, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm re I actually don't think I'm gonna have a break. I don't think I'm gonna read Not A Happy Family between the two. I think I'm just gonna go straight into Jade Legacy because I don't know, maybe I'm like becoming like Aaron. Like wishful thinking, yeah. you're a dreamer. You dream a lot in your sleep. No, not really. Aaron Marathon series. And I've just been like, could never be me. Could never be me. But I'm immediately like, I'm not even finished the book yet. And I'm like, I need to go 
read the next one and just like finish the series, like be totally immersed in the world. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. Another pro of this series in particular, there's so many characters, there's so many members of the family that you feel attached to. There's so many different moving parts that no one is ever safe. There's no necessarily main character in this book. Like if like any main character were to die, other characters would step up and fill that hole. So unlike with other fantasy series where like if the protagonist, the main protagonist is in trouble, you're like, well, bitch, you know, you're gonna be fine. Like there's no sense of anxiety around that. With this there is, because a bitch could be gone in a moment and the story could flip on its head. Like you really don't know where it's gonna go. So I feel like that really does keep you on your toes. And then not with other fantasy books, I'm not like, yeah, sure, Jan, like. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. Like with this, I actually get nervous. So I've got about three and a half hours left of the audiobook at full speed. I'm listening to it at 3.2, <laughs> sped up. I need to go eat, then I need to put makeup on. So I'll still listen to the audiobook for that, but obviously much slower. It's currently 20 past 11. So I feel like I'm gonna finish this with plenty of time. The live show's at six my time, I think. So I think I'm gonna finish this with plenty of time. I got <laughs> okay. Got a few other bits I need to do today, but I'm feeling fine about finishing some time and I'm really enjoying it. I'm I'm actually shocked at how easy I'm finding it to read. Putting our life in boxes, erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the Time to focus You're by yourself I'm by myself Wish I could solve your problems They're stuck on my wall Like neon paintings And I'm so tired of being honest To everyone but myself I do it so well We were so good at flying But we can't keep flying Jade Wall. <laughs> Listen, I actually finished it. Today is Monday afternoon. And I finished this on Saturday evening. And I had to take some time to decompress because this the ending of this was a fucking lot. I think you saw me reading it. Oh my god. Like Fonda Lee. <laughs> I'm suing for emotional damages. I'm suing. I'm suing. The most hideous experience for me to go through how horrible and shit. It was horrific. It was horrific. I really enjoyed this. I can you believe I'm giving it 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed it. There were the reason it's not a five is there are moments where I think it's a bit slow. Like we could have we could have we could have edited a little bit, Miss Fonda. We could have, you know cut a few scenes. But on the whole, I just think this was absolutely marvellous. The the big pro of this book for me was how the world building was expanded. I love this in fantasy when the world expands a little bit in each book, you know? Each book is a marked increase in the scope of our interest. So in the first book, we're very just much focused on like the country that we live in. In this book, it's very much about Kacon and this country called Espenia and diaspora communities in Espenia and the relations between Kacon and Espenia and, and the clans. And I get a feeling in the last book, we're gonna get even bigger and kind of, there's been rumblings of this war that's going on, but like, I haven't really been paying attention to that. I love the characters. I was talking obviously on the live about with Mel and Aaron about this. I love the characters, like I love Wen. Listen, she's a bit like idiotic sometimes, but I love Wen. I, justice for Wen. Justice for Wen. <laughs> she's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Anden though, his scenes and his storyline throughout this book I think was my favorite. And I hope, like listen, the thing with this book is, like I said, anyone can go. No one's safe. The characters that you think are the lead characters in this book could get the chop in a second. Like literally in half a page. Oh, they're dead. Oh. 
that in, you know, like that could easily happen. So, but I'm hoping <laughs> Andon isn't gonna die. And um, I'm hoping that he will play a big role in the, in the, in the third book. And um, yeah, listen, the writing is different. I think this is another reason it's not a five star for me. It's different than my favorite type of writing. Like I can recognize it's great writing, but it's very like matter of fact writing. And like in a perfect world, my favorite writing is kind of like beautiful. I like pretty writing, you know? Whether that be like, like Taylor Jenkins Reid, right? It doesn't have flowery writing, but I feel like her writing is very beautiful and very poignant. Or flowery prose is kind of, more, you know, beautiful writing. <laughs> my kind of things. This writing almost feels scientific. It feels very to the point. So that isn't my favourite, but I can I can recognise the prose of it, if that makes sense. And I just loved it. I really enjoyed it. And I was, like I said, I was going to read a book in between the two, but now I'm not. I am just going to dive straight into Jade Legacy tonight. I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go like I feel like it could not like you know it's there's gonna be a lot Aaron was already telling me like this book like it spans a long amount of time and a lot of shit happens be ready I'm not ready but like <laughs> you know so yes I'm gonna go start this oh my god you guys it's so big <laughs> it's, the audiobook of this is 28 hours long I don't know when I'll check in with you. When I'm a bit of a way through I'm going out tomorrow so I don't know if I'll I don't think I'll read up to this point like up to a point I can check in with you tonight, but probably after I've read when I'm out tomorrow, I will be able to check in with you. So I'll see you after that. And I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. Ah! <laughs> hey, okay, so apologies I look like a mess. Sorry that I looked like a mess. Ah, I bought a hair converter, got rescheduled, makes me a little depressed. It's a bit, a few days later, um, I've actually been crazy busy the first, the last, the, oh, I'm tired, we'll get into it. I've been crazy busy the last couple of days, so basically it's Thursday night now. Tuesday night I went out to an awards ceremony in London with Tom's work, and then last night, I live in Essex, and I used to go to uni in Leeds, and I was nominated for an award, a Royal Television Society Award in Leeds. Um, so me and my family drove up and back in the same day, which we don't know, it's like a, somewhere between a four and five hour drive, all, all things considered. So we drove there and back in the same day, like this hour long awards ceremony. Um, I didn't win, so we don't need to, we need to talk about it. Um, <laughs> but we didn't get in until like two in the morning last night, so I, we've all been fucking knackered today. But I'm actually 150 pages into Jade Legacy. I, I could have been further through because I probably should have read more of this in the car yesterday, but I was, I was just in the mood to listen to music, which very rarely happens, so I, I honoured my intuition. <laughs> I listened to myself. No, okay, anyway. I'm 150 pages in and I'm loving it. Here's the thing. This is the longest book on my TBR currently. Longer than Wolf Hall, longer than anything else. It's how long? 713 pages. It's a chonky boy. And you know, the font, the font is small, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. And I don't feel intimidated of it diving into it straight after Jade War. I feel like I'm like amped up already. I needed a few days, I think, to like separate the books in my mind because that's the thing with like marathoning series. I do then find it difficult later on down the line to differentiate my feelings between the books. So I feel like having a few days, you know, gave me a little bit of a breather. I just think, listen, Miss Miss Fonda Lee, she, no, she, <laughs> she writes characters and she writes them well. <laughs> Here's the thing, Hilo at the start of this book, I was ready, I was pissed at this man. We were not on speaking terms, right? Because he'd done something that is always, you're done in my book. At that point, you are done in my book. I was fuming. I was mega, mega, mega fuming. I am fucking fuming! Mega, mega fucking fuming! But, suddenly, 150 pages later, he's turned it around, isn't he? He's turned it around, and I don't think as many characters or authors that can do that for me when I'm like I'm done with you we're done you're going down a route I don't like and then all is forgiven all is forgiven and usually like even if say I don't want to get too into spoilers but like say stuff was forgiven in the book right I would usually not still forgive I hold grudges <laughs> but with this I, I forgave him I forgiven him and I'm just like you know, we're at the start of the book. We're not very far in, but I know it's all gonna kick off. And I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also excited. I'm also excited. I've enjoyed the start. We've already, we've already had a few bit of, I can't speak. We've already had a few curveballs chucked in there. 
be like, whoa, whoa, didn't see that coming. And I know it's just gonna get worse. And we've just skipped five years suddenly. I was pre-warned that this spans a lot of time, but literally from the chapter I'm about to read, I'm just starting, we're suddenly five years in the future. So I'm like, what is the situation? What's happening? Someone inform me. So I'm gonna try and, I want to ideally get like halfway through this tonight. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I would love that. So we'll see. We'll see how far I get. Okay, so. I am halfway through Jade Legacy. Listen, this book is long. It's a long boy, like it's you know, seven, over 700 pages, but it is readable. Like I am really enjoying the experience of reading this series. Wanda Lee, I have a, I think I have a greater experience, um, excuse me, a greater appreciation <laughs> for reading this series, for this series. I can't speak, whoa. <laughs> I have a greater appreciation for this series because of my experience of reading it all together, like the second and third book all together. This book tackles a lot, a lot is happening. So much is happening, it constantly keeps you going reading. Around like the 250, yeah, 200 to like 250 to 300 page mark, there was like an event that happened that I was shook. Like I was like fucking, I could not stop reading. I didn't plan to carry on reading, I planned to do some other stuff, but a bitch gotta read sometimes. A bitch gotta read. Like, it kept me hooked. This is a place for legends, okay? I really love just the route that this is taking and the, the time we're getting to spend with these characters. Like, I obviously don't finish series that often. <laughs> and particularly not series that have so many, like, important characters and so much lore and history for the characters. And it's just a really enjoyable reading experience. And I haven't read, you know, adult fantasy in a long time. And it's just making me feel, like, a lot less intimidated into reading the bigger books, the more intimidating books on my TBR. I will say, I mean, in this book, in the first 360 pages, we've already spanned, I think about 13 years in this book. Yeah, 13 years already. And I will say perhaps, although I enjoy the route that is taking us down with this slower war, this more drawn out conflict, these more like long-term decision-making and the way that maybe something you did back then, which was good, is now bad. You know what I mean? Like the weighing up of all these factors. But in terms of the characters, sometimes it, you feel like I don't know them as well now. I feel like I don't know our main characters as well as I did in Jade War because we haven't been spending as much time with them. So that is something that I'm not enjoying as much of this book, but I think this book is more readable. Like it's, more, I think it's better. I think it's objectively amazing. But yeah, I just, I just think you have pros and cons. And I think the story needs to be told in that kind of drawn out time scale, but there are cons to doing it in that way that are difficult to avoid. So I am still really enjoying it. The world is just completely incredible. Like I think this is one of the biggest masterpieces of writing I've ever read. I think it's absolutely amazing. I kind of don't want to finish it. Like it's crazy to me, but I'm gonna try and get as far through it as tonight as I can. I would like to get maybe to page 500 tonight. It's like another 130-ish pages. Um, but we shall see. But yeah, it's just, it's incredible how Fondly has come up with all of this in her brain. A few moments later. Oh no. No, please stop it. So, <laughs> listen to me, right? Listen, listen, I need everyone's attention, I need everyone's attention. The crying you just saw was nothing, nothing in comparison to what, you know, occurred after that. I was screaming. I had my headphones on listening to your book. I was like, cry, like screaming, crying. Tom took my headphones off and he was like, listen, like you're loud, listen to how loud you are. I was like, I know bitch, like everyone needs to know what I'm going through. I'm not trying to be quiet here. It's not funny, get out if you're gonna continue to laugh and make fun of me, I'm tired of it. <laughs> my heart was broken. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, actually, like, Miss Fonderly, Miss Fonderly, like, I, mm, no, no one can speak to me for five days. Like, genuinely, I need to be left alone. <laughs> My heart just ripped out and, like, stomped on, you guys. 
This book is a masterpiece. This series is a masterpiece. Fondly is a genius. Like the way stuff from book one, you know, comes back. And the way this is just, I mean like, how can a human plot this? How can a human come up with this? I actually refuse to believe it. How can you be that clever? How can you be that much of a genius? That much of a genius? Like not possible, actually not possible. I'm giving it five stars, I'm giving it five stars, five stars. I absolutely loved it. It's crazy to me that I went from being like pretty disappointed with Jade City. I only gave it, I gave it 3.5. I didn't even realize that. Then gave Jade War 4.5, then gave this a five. I'm absolutely, <laughs> I feel broken. I feel broken. I have been cheating myself by not carrying on with series. Like, what? why have I been doing this to myself? Because, like, the way by this book, you're so attached to these characters and you've been through so much with them and you know them so well. Like, you know them like the back of your hand. And you want them to, like, be safe and be okay and be happy. Like, it's... <sighs> I'm so sad. Like, this is one of the best fantasy series I've ever read in terms of its masterpiece. Like, masterfulness, master, mother, I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing. I feel like everyone needs to go read this. I agree. The best, maybe the best in the entire world. And like I will say, I think the reason I rated Jade City lower is because it, it did take me that book to like get used to all the different characters we have and get to know them and like the setting and like the pace of the book. Whereas with these books, I was kind of used to it by then and that's why I was able to love them so much more. So if you've read Jade City and you kind of weren't sure whether you wanted to carry on with the series or were kind of paying it off, like carry on with it. It's, it's actually genius. Actually, actually genius, actually genius. I don't know how she's done it. It is incredible. Actually, Miss Fonda. Miss, why do I keep calling her Miss Fonda? I just feel like she's so amazing that it's like, you know, I have to be respectful. She tweeted yesterday, which I thought, you know, perfect timing. She tweeted, I'm gonna say it. The Greenbird Target is far too often sold as action. Yes, the fight scenes are some of my favorites, but readers who aren't big on a lot of chewy world building, political machinations and family drama should probably look away. And it's like so true. Yes, the action scenes are good, but like they're sprinkled. It's not the main plot. The main plot is that political maneuvering and the family, the family drama, the family relationships. <gasps> Like, it's genius. The way that each character like had their moment, had their moment, no matter who your favorite character is, they have their moment in the kind of ending of this book. And I just want to say it, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. When is my favorite character? Anyone who says she's stupid, anyone who says they don't like her decisions can get fucked. <laughs> Me when I see any when haters in the comments. Oi, he's not meant to be in here. He got in here get out i love when when i haven't described this if you don't know you probably won't know but when is Hilo's partner and when is a stone eye so that means that she can't have jade powers she doesn't get any powers from jade and her journey from being a stone eye which is very looked down upon in society to getting where she gets at the end of this book is incredible and the way that she is a woman navigating a man's world and using her role as a woman in the family to get where she needs to be and to do what she needs to do for the clan is I love her like I won't take criticism I won't take it mm -mm, not listening and in a second then I, then I don't know who's third. I can't decide who's third, but they're my, they're my, you know, they're my fave. So anyway, I loved this. <laughs> I would absolutely recommend you go and pick this series up. And what a great start to like marathoning series, which is gonna be my life a little bit for the next year to try and get through series. I love it. I feel like this is a new me. I love that. So yeah, let me know if you've read any of the books in this series down below, what you thought of them. If you now need to get to Jade War or Jade Legacy, cause you do. If you got to the end of this video, leave a green heart down below. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.